Rashid and I are here to read to you the last chapter, chapter four of Upstairs Mouse, Downstairs Mole. We hope you enjoy. Chapter four, the boat. Mole knocked on Mouse's door. Tap, tap, tap. Good morning, Mole, said Mouse. Good morning, Mouse, said Mole. I hope you like surprises. I love surprises, squeaked Mouse. Don't tell. Let me try to guess. It has to do with water, whispered Mole. Mouse twirled her tail. It had not rained in two days. The flowers in the garden were starting to droop. She hopped up and down on one foot. Is it a rain dance? Guess Mouse. Nope, said Mole. Not a rain dance. Mouse waved her arms back and forth as if she were casting a line. Are you going fishing then? No, not fishing either, said Mole. Mouse stretched her ears. She was hot from hopping up and down. Her arms were tired from waving back and forth. Swimming? She squeaked hopefully. Wrong again, said Mole. Follow me. They hiked along the path to the pond. There in the water was a boat. Surprise, shouted Mole. My, what a beautiful boat, said Mouse. I have only one paddle though, said Mole. No problem, said Mouse. We'll take turns. Good thinking, Mole smiled. Off they went. Mo paddled. Mole paddled and paddled. Then he paddled some more. His arms were getting sore. They had passed the willow tree three times. I think we're going in circles, said Mouse. Here, let me try. Mouse paddled and paddled. Then she paddled some more. Soon, Mouse's arm began to ache. They passed the willow tree three more times. Only now, they were headed in the opposite direction. You're right, Mouse, said Mole. We are definitely going in circles. Both Mouse and Mole were hot and tired from all the paddling. Let's go for a swim, suggested Mole. They dove into the water. Mouse splished, Mole splashed. How refreshing. They climbed back into the boat. Mouse twirled her tail. Mole rubbed his snout. I have an idea squeaked Mouse. Why not switch paddling more often? Good thinking, Mole chuckled. At least we won't tire as easily. Pretty soon, Mouse and Mole were zipping across the pond. When they reached the other side, it was time to turn around. Mouse and Mole were experts at turning around. Ouch, squeaked Mouse. Something is nibbling on my tail. She yanked it out of the water. A fish flopped into the boat. Way to go, said Mole. Our first fish. Mouse and Mole hopped up and down in celebration. They waved their arms back and forth at the sky. Then it began to rain. The next day, Mouse knocked on Mole's door. Tap, tap, tap. I have a surprise for you, whispered Mouse. Let me guess, Mole clapped. Like Mouse, he too was fond of surprises. It has to do with pears, she said. Do you mean pears like a tree, asked Mole, or pears like mittens? Like mittens, said Mouse, only not mittens. Mole rubbed his snout. He kicked the dirt with his feet. 
a claw poked out of one shoe. Is it shoes or socks? Guessed Mole. Nope, not shoes, not socks, said Mouse. She disappeared behind the tree. Surprise! Out jumped Mouse. She handed Mole a paddle decorated with ribbons. Now we have a pair of paddles. A pair, said Mole. Like you and me. Together, they hopped up and down, dancing in circles around the oak tree. Mole waved the paddle back and forth at the sky. Plip, plop! Down came the rain once again. Mouse and Mole's garden never looked better. All right, and that was Upstairs Mouse, Downstairs Mole. I hope you guys enjoyed. Maybe take a minute and write down anything you can remember about the story. Try and do a retell, who the characters were, what they were doing. Tell me about each character, and maybe tell me little tidbits about each of the chapters. All right, bye guys.